What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as I promised, I'm going to be doing a review to the Alexander McQueen sneakers. The over... I think they're called oversize, oversole. I never know the name of anything that I'm reviewing. Like, that's so bad. But let me just look real quick. Everybody just put... Okay. They're called Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. That's what they're called. This is the box that mine's came in. I'll just give you guys a quick look on the box. It has this in the bottom. And the box is super, super, super thick. So don't get played out there, guys. It's super thick. Literally. Comes with the sizing and information on the shoes right here. I'm going to give you guys a quick little story time on what happened to me when I got this on another site. And why I'm reviewing this shoe. Because for the sake of people that made the mistake that I made, everybody should watch an unboxing video of a shoe before they buy it. Or anything before they buy it. Or watch a video or look up all information on the shoe before you buy the shoe a purse anything that's luxury or anything that's expensive please look up a review and i'm doing this review for everybody that wants these shoes even though there's a bunch of reviews out there i figured i'd do my own personal review because there's a lot of people frauding out there so make sure you watch this video i'm gonna try to explain as much about the shoe as i possibly can there's not much to really say but yeah guys let's start unboxing so like i showed you guys this is the box I'm gonna open it right up and inside it comes with laces I had seen them earlier but the tissue paper comes I'm trying to make it focus with the little Alexander McQueen logo here, here I don't know if you guys can see it better there there you go um, I'm gonna open them and this is what the shoe looks like as you guys know I was thirsty and I tried them on so I'm so happy this is suede. I was unsure if this was going to be suede or not. I obviously didn't read the description of the shoe too much. Um, but I'm happy it's suede because I love suede and I love that it's black. I chose black because black pretty much goes with everything. And this is a shoe that it's mainly just white. So it goes with literally anything. If one day you want to just dress up really girly but don't feel like wearing heels. Because I know heels can get uncomfortable. And it's getting colder outside well, where I'm from. It's getting colder. Or even if it's summer, this would be a uh, perfect summer shoe. This goes with any girly outfit as well as any like sporty outfit. This is why I got this color so I can just pop them in whenever I don't feel like wearing heels or anything like that. Um, one thing I can say about this is that they make you taller. So for all my girls or guys that are a little shorter, these give you a good two inches. If if not, this is just me going by my by what I think. I'm already super tall, so I don't care about it giving me more height or not. Like. I prefer to not look even taller than I am. I'm 5'9", so with the shoe, I go up to like 5'11". For all my girls that are short and like looking a little bit taller, this is literally the perfect shoe for you. So one thing I want to say about... I'll show you guys both of them. I literally love them. Like, I'm obsessed. So inside of the tongue, it comes with a code. So when you are getting the shoe... And you do get it on another site. I'm going to explain more about that in a second. Make sure you look at that because that's important. Also in the box it comes with this little notebook thing. It's like a little thing that explains everything. And I got these on Sense. I think that's what it's called. Sense.com. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the word correctly guys. I am not good at pronouncing. But that's where I got them from. So let's talk about sizing. So I ended up going with the size 8 in women's. I'm typically a size 5.5 and, and 6 in men's. So a size 6 in women's would be a size 8. I stuck to getting a size basically 6. Because, um, I don't know, sometimes I just don't be trusting what online says. I'd rather them fit me a little big than for them to fit me small. Because nobody wants to walk around being uncomfortable. 
when I did try them on both of them on I tried them on with regular socks no show socks and they were sliding off my feet a little bit so take that into consideration do go maybe a half size down if you guys would like to purchase these because they are a little big but like I said I'd rather be super comfortable than to have shoes that are tight so that's why I decided to stick with getting a size 6 so um yeah that's as much as I can tell you guys about the shoe I literally love them like I said they go with everything let me put them back in so guys i just want to share with you guys a quick little story time that happened to me and the reason why i wanted to review the shoe so i was being cheap guys i'm a little cheap i'm not gonna lie i like to look for coupons i look i like to look for deals and a couple people have told me about the site makari i'm sure you guys are familiar with makari if you're not makari is basically like a, a poshmark uh uh there's there's a few more stores so it's basically a store where you can resell items so this is my little box right here if i wanted to sell this i, I can just go on makari post description on it and put a price to it so a lot of people sell balenciagas gucci sneakers um louis bags a lot of people sell cool high-end things on these sites stuff that they don't use stuff that they haven't worn they don't care about they just want to sell it and get money so i was like let me just give it a try like you never know if i find something brand new and it's a good price why not buy it like let me just try and makari also guarantees your your money back if if you didn't like the item or if it doesn't fit so i thought that was really cool i know my money was secured if i um was to not like the item so i found a pair of alexander mcqueen sneakers on makari and it said they were size 30 which is the size that i purchased now and when i received them in the mail i was already a little sketchy i was like oh my god like what if they what if they sold me something fake what if they say it's alexander mcqueen's and it's some skippies from walmart what if they just give me the box empty like what if what if what if what if like how can i prove that like i don't know i was freaking out but i'm like i'm just gonna do it let me start being negative nancy i'm just gonna purchase them whatever so i purchased them they come in the mail i run downstairs like yes my shoes are here my shoes are here and guys first of all let's start with this box it was so disgusting and it was so flimsy so the box look the, the cap was exactly like this but super flimsy so imagine getting a pair of shoes from like um let's see i don't want to bad mouth any store but a box that's from so imagine the shoe department imagine going to the shoe department and getting like a nine west box or something one of them stores that the box it's just a shoe box you know a regular little flimsy shoe box it was super super flimsy it had yellow stains as you guys can see in the pictures everywhere literally it was disgusting it looked like there was a murder scene on the picture the box was broken on the side the 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 bottom half on the box like the big this part of the box had nothing no label here so that was super sketchy to me when i did open the box when i did help hold the shoe now that i got this pair and i compared it in my head it did feel very very real the shoe looked real they there was like nothing fake about the shoe the only thing that i found a little sketchy was the inside of the shoe like the code like i don't know it just there was something about it that looked like it was off it definitely looked different from this one um but other than that like everything was to the t like the, the shoe was literally bomb like it didn't look like a fake shoe at all but just with the box and um that code inside of the shoe it just looked super sketchy and i couldn't i couldn't like i just couldn't keep them so i was like we like so i was like oh no like thank god that they're the wrong size because now i can return them usually on makari you have to have a reason to return you can't just return like a forever 21 or a gucci store or a louis store you can't just be like okay i don't want it because i just don't like it like once you have it it's yours like unless they gave you the wrong size or there's like a real reason for you to return them you can't return them so luckily god was with me and the guy sent me the wrong size thank you jesus and the moment this is the part guys that i found sketchy the moment that i requested a return um i pressed the return stuff on makari the seller hit me back up immediately like when i tell you in seconds he said oh i sent the wrong size oh my god i'm so sorry and i was like yes i try to be nice to him i don't know i just didn't want to be mean in case like he dictated my um my return or something imagine he would have been like oh no i don't want to accept it i don't know if that's an option but i just didn't want i just didn't want to make the situation worse i really really wanted my money back 
so what i did was i told him like you sent me the wrong size he accepted he said oh yeah i did send you the wrong size i'm sorry but then guys he told me you can just resell them on Macari yourself and just you can just get your money back that way and i'm like oh no it's 100 percent cool i'll just return it through Macari. like you sent me the wrong size i have all my rights to return them like i'm so cool thank you so much though thank you for the offer like i'm cool i'll just do Macari. he's like oh just think about it like they'll sell really fast this that and the third and i was like this guy's really weird like if they sell so fast why wouldn't you just want your item back so you can just sell them yourself like it was so weird obviously before i purchased the shoe i looked at his reviews his reviews looked good but there was one person that did say the box was literally disgusting and off so i just find that really strange like why is a person selling a box that's really strange like really um dirty and like not it it's not the same box as it comes in so i just found it really really weird luckily makari did accept my return i sent them shoes back immediately like i already got my money back and everything like everything went, was smooth with them they they work really amazing point of the story is just pay the money if you want your luxury item just pay the money don't be a cheapo like me like i i just can't i can't the shoe could be real and if i know if i didn't purchase it i don't know why i did it because if i didn't purchase it in a, in a legit store like i'm gonna feel like it's fake and i'm not gonna be able to wear it so i don't know why i just told myself that i'm just no oh, maybe they're real like i don't know why i try to convince myself i don't know why i was just being cheap for me to end up just paying the money anyways make sure you guys check everything before you buy anything on these sites because people are out here to get their money and get you and this world is ruthless right now so if you want your expensive luxury item like i just said guys just pay the money it's worth it now i have my shoe i know it's 100 percent real i don't have to worry about looking up is it real is it fake like no i've just had bad experiences and i just i'm all set i'd rather just pay the money because it's not like i didn't have the money i had the money i was just being a cheapskate but yeah guys that pretty much concludes my review on the alexander mcqueen sneakers i hope you guys purchase them i recommend them a thousand percent even though i haven't wore them yet out i just tried them on at home i still recommend them i think that they go with a bunch of cute little outfits like i plan on wearing all black with it you can pretty much wear everything if you guys want more detail on what outfits to wear just comment down below and i'll do a separate video for that um or if you guys want to see when i rock them just go on my instagram because i'm sure i'll post a picture soon enough i'm sure i'll wear them eventually if you guys do want to see pictures make sure you follow me on instagram all of my information is linked down below um, and yeah guys i have nothing else to pretty much say if you guys do like my reviews make sure you comment down below and tell me to do more reviews who's here but yeah guys if you guys do like my reviews make sure you comment down below we want to see more reviews and i will be reviewing everything i mean i plan on doing it anyway so whether you guys comment it or not i'm still gonna do it so hopefully you guys like my reviews hey guys thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace